welcome back to Fresh Fit and Healthy YouTube for principle number seven of the intuitive eating series. Only three more to go, guys. So number seven is honoring your feelings without food. So when me and my boyfriend of three years broke up, I have to say I wasn't very good about this. My friend brought over a tub of ice cream of Ben and Jerry's and Dove chocolates and I sat up in my room, both of us with a spoon, eating it. That is a bad example of how not to honor your feelings without food. So here's some healthy ways. Now this is a tough one because we all have a tendency of when we're sad, when we're upset, when we're mad, when we're bored, to head to the kitchen or the fridge. So whether it's when your boyfriend breaks up with you or you had a bad day or you're just feeling really stressed or you're bored and don't wanna do your homework, it's a tendency to go run into the kitchen and get some food or just snack on the bag of chips right next to you and just have your hand in them constantly. But that's probably not the way you should go. So here are some tips to honor your feelings without food because you should honor those feelings just in a different way. So for me, a lot of times when I have a lot on my mind or I'm stressed, I go on a run or a walk. That's such an easy way to honor those feelings and just get time to think for yourself. So that's a first idea that you can do. A second idea is just go out with a friend. Go out and like do something. Go play tennis, go play volleyball. Something that's just like fun and easy going and you're with friends so it takes your mind off whatever you're struggling with. Number three is just treating yourself in a different way other than foods. So if you're really excited about something and you think you deserve a gift or a present, then go out and get yourself that bracelet you've been admiring or that lipstick instead of an ice cream cone. <laughs> but no harm in ice cream cones every once in a while because I love my ice cream. And then another tip that I do a lot is just journaling. Write it all out. Write all your feelings out. If you're stressed, if you're mad, if you're sad, if you're happy, anything. Honor those feelings by just writing them all out, journaling, kind of just meditating on them, anything like that. Also, the last one is just get outside because the sun and the fresh air can do a whole lot of good for you. Whether it's go walking on the beach if you're near water, or whether it's just go walking in the mountains if you're around mountains, or just even going outside and sitting outside for a little bit to get some sun because sun has been proven to boost your mood and your energy levels and make you happier. So there's some tips on honoring your feelings without food. Let's see how you guys do this week. Comment below your plan of action for honoring your feelings without food, whether that be boredom, happiness, sadness, stressed, anything. So click thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe if you aren't already, and until next time guys, comment down below any questions you may have for me. Bye.